Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea, where we are at war with Oirat in Mongolia. Uh, the intent is either to take Mongolia as a vassal or just take some of his land. I have some claims on his clay. I would love to take some land off of him. We're also at war with Cardell, who probably wants peace somewhat soon. Uh, let me... No, I'll keep counter-spying. Uh, yeah, I'll skip off on Yeren for now. Anyway, welcome back, everyone. We're about to get some rebels in Japan, which I can't really do much about because I can't increase the autonomy there. I think we're going to head in there and take him out. Oh, he's got a good... He's got a five-shock general over there. Ooh. Ooh, he's a good general. He's a very good general. Some of the Japanese daimyos are... Oh, what's this? War reps? No, it's not good enough. I want more than war reps. I want stuff and things. Stuff and things. And holy shit, that's a good general. Yeah, I, I want to vassalize him then. If I can get that 1-5 general. That'd be nice. That's right. You kill Caradell's army. And I'll peace out with Caradell. No? Come on, kill his army. All right, he's just going to stand there for whatever reason. Really? No white piece? Dude, Ming is like crushing your army. Learn when to give up, dude. Conversions, go! We're doing a pretty good job of turning things Confucian. The far north, which is all Tengri, has been converted. Working on the near north of Upper Manchuria. But we're currently at 79% unity. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm just going to stand there. Let me attack you. Okay. Look how long it takes to go there. Holy shit. I do this for your own good. There you go. And I, I think I'm going to ferry these guys over to... Uh, Japan before these rebels spawn. Because this besieging stuff over here is pretty much done. Pretty much. Turn off the fort. Can I repay a loan? Yes. We're down to three loans, baby. Tengri Zealots. Caradell have pieced out Ming. Oh, yep. So Caradell was full annexed. Goodbye, Caradell. So they're not in my war anymore. Okay, you'll give me my claims, which is great. Oh, wow. The Oirat is almost small enough to annex. Can you imagine? Just full annex the Oirat, get Mongolia as a vassal. That'd be awesome. He's 109 cost. Uh-oh, my good general is dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Aha. What do we get? Oh, that's 40 tradition? He's garbage doesn't even have a siege pip. Oh, it's terrible. The last guy was 4-3, and now he's a 0-2. That's a pretty big downgrade. Okay, let's prevent a rebellion. Or at least defend the rebellion. Ming has 40 war scores, so if he wants, he could probably take those provinces. This is the one he has a claim on. He's got a claim on a couple, I guess. And we'll see what he does. Right now, we're cock-blocking him because, I don't know. Why not? Tr 
truce with Japan is over. Okay. I don't think I need counter espionage on Japan. Oh yeah, are we going to be able to get this alliance? Is it something that's possible? Carnal alliance, 3287. No, it's just too far away. 37 from distance between borders. So that's not going to work. That's too bad. Japan is fabricating on us. Fun. I wonder if Japan would attack us. How many troops do you have, Japan? 14,000? He might. I mean, he has got a lot. He's got a lot of troops from his vassals. But I assume a lot of them are disloyal. I could be wrong. Maybe they're loyal. I'm surprised Ming isn't helping us siege this shit. Like, really surprised. Random Oirot exclave over there. He's like, oh, I can't reach my lands. Right, 90% rebel progress. Lay it on me. Lay it on me, bro. Spawn. Spawn, baby. Come on, do it. Do it now. Do it now. Forty-three war score, huh? Losing claims. It's no bueno. Oh shit! I don't have enough points to get a claim. Well, fuck. All right, I think I'm gonna get a couple more troops here. What do I have? I have eleven and four. Let's get two more cav. And yeah, we're not making siege progress here simply because we can't afford to um, send troops over there, really. I gotta handle this rebellion. Pretty lucky that they didn't spawn already. Oh god, those three loans. Those three loans. Ow, those three loans hurt. Hey, our first humanist idea. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we now have 106 religious unity. Glorious religious unity. It's actually really freaking amazing, which means I can lower my corruption spending by quite a bit. Let's put it down at 10%. Is that good enough? Yeah, perfect. So we're now losing corruption. We're barely spending anything on it, too. Yeah, 1.1 ducats. Stupid rebels aren't spawning. You know what? Go help the siege. Why not? Are there any ideas to lower corruption? I don't think so. All the ideas are kind of peripheral corruption assistance, like economic to make a little more money to pay it down, a humanist to get the religious unity to pay it down, um, even something like, where is it? I guess that's not it. Core cost, does that affect it? I wonder if core cost affects it, it might. Because when you get overextended, you get corruption. So perhaps the perhaps the lowered coring cost means uh, less corruption too. It's possible. Spawn. It's a five percent chance to spawn. Come on. Ming is drooling. I know, right? I know. Ming is sitting there with 61,000. He has no manpower, but he's got 61,000 troops. It's disgusting. Another cav. I 
I mean, he's just going to peace out, right? He's at 50 war score. He's going to peace out here. He's going to take those two provinces and that's it. And he might take this over here too. All right, now I, now I can see just capital down. Get some claims on Yaren. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, advisor died, but not the one I'm using. Good, he's 50 years old, he's really hanging in there. He's like, I wanna convert everything. Until the day I die. Hey! <laughs> Oirat tribe spawned and the Mings just cleared him out. That was amusing. Oh, he'll, he'll give me the vassal? He will. And it does not say that we'll go to war with Ming. So I'm pretty sure we won't go to war with Ming. However, I think the way this works is Ming will still be at war with Mongolia. But since Mongolia is not the leader in the war, and Mongolia is not currently independent, then I won't go to war with Ming. I think that's how it works. But I'm going to hold out for a little longer to see if Ming takes this province. If Ming takes this province, then great. Yeah, that's 10%. That means I can full annex Oirat. And if I can full annex Oirat, then I get Mongolia as a vassal automatically. That's just awesome. Hmm, peasant rebels. Okay. Well, I need these rebels to spawn so I can kill those peasants. I mean, thankfully they're at negative 42. In fact, Ming may just kill them. Japan has declared war. Okay. All right. Well, it may be time for some mercenaries here. Very possible. Let's get docked up. Hopefully he doesn't engage that navy on the way back. But if he does, then he does. No heavies. That's a lot of troops, though. That's a lot of troops. 40,000 troops. And I'm sitting here with 13. All right. Slow down time. Okay, I think it's time for some mercs. I don't see an option here. I wish I had a better general. That 4-3 would have been great here, but... Ain't got no 4-3 anymore. Oh, shit. Here comes Japan. I wonder if I can finish this battle and get over there and defend in time. I don't think so. Gosh, I wish I had seen that army sooner. Sneaky. No, there's no way I can get there in time. Oh, he's coming to attack in the hills. Is there a river? No river. Okay. Interesting. He's coming to attack me in the hills. The problem is, he's going to have endless reinforcements, and I'm not. Alright, I'm just going to build a Merc army over here. Oh, balls. Stack of 10 over there. Wait, is he a tech ahead of me? No, he's not a tech ahead of me. Well, then what the fuck? He's got 10% discipline. Oh my god, that's right, he's Shinto. I forgot he was Shinto. He's got that discipline bonus. Oh, that's painful. Rolling zeros doesn't help. Really? I can't even retreat to Chikuzen? I have to stop. I'm going to get crushed there. We're going to get crushed here, because I can't retreat to Chikuzen. Fuck me, dude. Okay, well, looks like we're going to lose this stuff. 
Although, I do seem to have good naval superiority going here. Perhaps I can handle their navy. Perhaps. Oh, that sucks. We engaged him before he dropped off troops. Very good. If we can also engage this navy before they drop off troops, then great. Alternatively, we're definitely going to need some mercs here. Let's try to recruit in the north, because I don't think recruiting in the south would be a smart move right now. Need to have time to group up. Let's get... 10 of you, and I'll get some regular old Cav. No, not there. Here. Okay. The problem is my ships are not at full repair, so I think I should probably just dock out. Yeah, I didn't lose anything, but we didn't stop them from landing troops either. So they will land troops. Or not. Okay, we're going to engage them again. Nice. The part that sucks is he declared for Chikuzen. And he's definitely going to get Chikuzen sieged down. He just did. So he's got ticking war score on me. That's the part that sucks. And Ming is killing my rebels. Good. Thank you, Ming. Dude bro, Ming. So the only army that landed is a little 1-2 stack. Kind of imbalanced there. South Korean Sea. Yeah, I'll engage that, I think. Give it a whirl. Sink some more of their navy. If we can get naval superiority, then this war is not going to be a problem. The problem is... Fuck, we're both rolling zeros. The problem is going to be landing troops on Japan and handling that. Need to make sure I don't lose ships here. Okay, he just reinforced massively. Means I should probably dock up here. Okay, we'll repair. I'll just try to repair at the end of every month. Let me get an admiral as well. That's a shit admiral. I'm just going to keep repairing every month and undocking. Yeren has declared war. Okay. Sure. Do you have a good general? Do you have any general? He's got a 2-2. Okay. He is a tech behind us. Well, this run sure got weird. All 
right, dock up. So we're just undocking, killing ships, and then docking back up again. I think it's a pretty decent strategy, to be honest. Oirat really wants peace here. But I think keeping this war going is going to be good for us. Okay, Ming pieced out. Ming pieced out. That's, um, that's a little scary that Ming pieced out. Hmm. Maybe I should just take my vassal and move on. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna take some vassal. I'm gonna take a vassal, take some money, humiliate him. Oh, we won't, we can't. Well, I can't let him build units. Okay, forget the humiliate. Give me war reps. Alright, that's fine. Okay, make Mongolia happy. Oh, we don't have positive prestige. Well, shoot. But yeah, he's got a 1-5 general. And I really want that general to work for us. Because it's way better than my 0-2. So we got to get him to like us. I can't let these troops drop off. I just can't. I gotta get control of the naval situation. Six and four, that army composition. Okay. If I can sink some transports, I'll be set. You know what? They have no trade ships here. They have no trade ships. It's just all transports. Wow. Probably be able to sink that fleet, I think. Probably. Yeah, they don't have an admiral. That's a big bonus for us. Oh shit, we're losing ships. We just lost a galley. Okay, dock up. We'll repair at the end of the month. I think I'll I'll separate out the ships that aren't like good health. Okay. Get out there and fight. If we can sink that navy, then these transports will be dead, that army will be dead. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, we just sunk one of their transports. Yep, sunk a transport. Get back out there and do it again. Not allowed to land troops, Japan. You should know better than that. Okay, Mongolia, let's be friends. Just don't let Japan support your independence, okay? We are crushing this navy. Yeah, that entire army's gonna die. 
Oh no, he actually, he retreated. So the army is not going to die. Okay. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to kill the army. Hmm, Yaren's going for my capital. Who's this? Oh, it's just some Yaren boats. Alright, well, my army's almost grouped up. There's that nice Mongolian army. Let's get you grouped up mode. Check mark on. Let's go take out this dude. This is the Japanese army, Shiba. Should take care of him. There's also rebels that are going to spawn here in Otomo. Bungo. And that's probably good for me right now. It'll give the Jap Japanese army something to fight, because I don't want them to fight me. Okay, keep an eye on where that navy goes. Negative 70 on my fort, very nice. In fact, I can probably full siege Yeren, even Sakhalain, before he can get this thing sieged down. That fort is doing work. You know what, though? We're out of time for the episode today. So thank you so much for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We'll come back next time for more adventures in Korea. Bye-bye.